What's going on guys? Welcome to your 25th Java game applet tutorial. What we're going to do in today's tutorial is create a font item that, or I'm sorry, not a font item. Wow. Just got done with that last tutorial. Uh, we're going to create a score item, not a font item, but uh, the score item is just going to boost our score by a, a little bit. So uh, we're going to create a new class. Call it score. Uh, plus or something and uh, score plus is going to extend the item class extends the item class and you know we have to add our constructor and what else do we want well let's see what else we have the options for so we're going to say score plus we want to add the paint method uh, but we also want to add the action perform method so perform action so as you can see, once we set this up, we're like, okay, how do we get access to the score variable that we set up in our starting point class? And, uh, you know, one way that we can do this is, you know, when we create our score object, we have a different type of constructor. And what do I mean by that? Well, we get the information from the ball here, but we want information from the starting point class. So all we're going to do is we're going to add a comma and we're going to say starting point, starting point, and we're going to say uh, this is the applet. That's what we're labeling the starting point variable that we get passed in as applet and uh, or applet info. Let's do that. And so we're going to set up a new starting point object for this class. It's going to be private. And we're also going to call this one applet info. So we have that set up. Now what we want to do is when this constructor gets called, we want to set up our classes or score pluses applet uh, or apple info <laughs> applet info to be equal to whatever is being passed in here so we're just going to say uh, let's see applet info for this dot applet info is equal to applet info again the second applet info that we're setting equal to is what's being passed in within our constructor so it's not really changing anything because again we're taking in the information from our x variable and uh, we are shipping that off to the superclass which is our item class and our item class is going to handle you know this kind of constructor with only one parameter and it's going to know that it's like a x variable um, so that's cool I mean that's set up but we're also setting up our constructor for a score plus item to pass in the information from our applet uh, so we have access to the score all that stuff so now that we have access to our applet information uh, we are going to go back into our starting point class and create or generate a getter and setter for our score we're going to set this to be private variable first and uh, you know then we're just going to right click go down to source uh, getter and setters generate getter and setters and we're going to generate the getter and setters for score um, set those up pretty quick pretty simple save our project go back to our score plus and all we're going to do is we're going to say uh, random r equals new random we're using that random quite a bit um, so anyways set up a new random object and then we're going to say uh, applet info and we're going to say dot set score to be uh, whatever our current score is so we're going to again say applet info dot get score plus r dot uh, next int and we are going to throw in a random 2000 which is pretty cool but what we also want to do maybe is add a 500 as well so they automatically get 500 so there's a lot of randomness to this game but now all we're doing is we're setting the score to whatever the score is plus 500 plus a random uh, integer anywhere from 0 through 1999 so that's pretty good cool and uh, let's also refer to our G dot set color and we're gonna set the color uh, to be green or blue maybe mix it up hopefully we'll get a score object and then lastly 
all we have to do is go back to our starting point class, go down to our run method, where again we set up random objects here, and we're going to refer to our case. And we're going to say this is case four, and we're going to set up, you know, our item to be a score plus. And it's giving us an error because we need two parameters. Again, the x value and then our applet information. So we're just going to say comma this, which is referring to, you know, our applet information. All right. And then lastly, what we have to do is we change our switch from four to five. And there we go. We have that set up. The next thing that we probably want to do is we want to copy this switch in case here. Um, because right now, also, this is going to be quick, I promise. So copy the switch in case and then go up to our start method. And within our start method where we set up all of our items here, uh, we set them all the gravity up items, but instead we are just going to paste um, because we already had this random, or if you don't, it also include the random R here, and we're going to generate all of our items to be random. And as you can see, we set up our, you know, our first X values to be something like 2000 times I. So I'm just going to copy that and replace um, all of our x values to be uh, to be that instead. So let's do that quickly. And then we also want to get rid of this gravity up item down at the bottom. So that's how we kind of set up more items once we need them or create them. Uh, make sure you change it within the start method and also within our run method. And let's try and you know get a blue object, which is our score, and see if that affects our actual score. Oh, and one other thing I thought about. Man, I really should have probably thought this series through, huh? Um, but I think once we, once our item goes off to the left of the screen, it's always going to be the same type of item that appears on the right side. So that's not cool. Um, oh, there's a blue item. Oh, come on, baby. Oh. Look. oh, no. I missed it. Are you kidding me? All right, so make sure you're checking out the score. Here is our item blue. And come on. Oh, my gosh. See how nice that gravity is? Holy cow. That's awesome. All right, here's our here's our blue item. We'll check it. Look at the score, and we'll see if it works out now. All right, so there's our blue item. Let's try and get that. Oh, no. Come on. All right, so I think it changed. Uh hopefully if you guys were watching the score there uh, jump by like 2000 or something so it looks like that's working um, but uh, you know we have the basics of our game set up and you know there's still some work to do and we're still need to add some graphics maybe some sound um, but we're almost done guys it's looking pretty good um, obviously there's that air I was talking about oh nice got another blue one that air that I was talking about where uh, we you know, if it goes off to the left of the screen, it's still going to be the same type of object when it gets recreated on the right side of the screen. But, uh, you know, for now, it's cool. So thanks again for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day. Catch you later.